when I started SpaceX, um, I, it, it actually, it, initially, I thought that, well, there's, there's no way one could possibly start a rocket company. I, I wasn't that crazy. Um, but, but then uh, I thought, well, what is a way to um, increase NASA's budget? That was actually my initial goal. So I, I thought, well, if we can do a low-cost mission to Mars, something called Mars Oasis, which would land seeds with, uh, with, dehydrate, with, with seeds and dehydrated nutrient gel, and you hydrate them upon landing, and then you'd have this great sort of money shot of green plants on a red background, and the, <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the public tends to respond to um, uh, precedents and superlatives, and this would be the first life on Mars, the furthest that life's ever traveled, as far as we know. And, and I thought, well, that, that would get people really excited and, and, uh, and therefore increase NASA's budget. So, so obviously, the, the financial outcome from such a mission would probably be zero. Um, so anything better than that was on the upside. Um, so I actually went to, I went to Russia three times to, to look at buying um, a refurbished ICBM. Uh, because that, that was the best deal. Um, and uh, I can tell you it was very weird going there in, in 2000, late 2001, 2002, going to the Russian rocket forces and saying, I'd like to buy two of your biggest rockets, uh, but you can keep the nuke. <laughs> that, that's a lot more. Um, and uh, and this, that was 10 years ago, I guess, so um, they, 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 they thought I was crazy, but, but I did have money, so that was, that was okay. Uh, um, and after making several trips to, to Russia, I, I came to the conclusion that, that actually uh, uh, my, my initial impression was, was wrong about, uh, that, because my initial thought was, well, that, that there's not enough will to explore and expand beyond Earth and have a Mars base and that kind of thing. But I came to the conclusion that that, that was wrong. Um, in fact, there's plenty of will, particularly in the United States, uh, because the United States is a nation of explorers, of people who came here from, from other parts of the world. I think the United States is really a, distil a distillation of the, the spirit of human exploration. So, um, but, but if people think it's impossible, then, at, or it's going to completely break the federal budget, then they're not going to do it. So af after my third trip, I said, okay, well, we, what we really need to do here is try to solve the, the space transport problem. And, uh, and started SpaceX. Um, and uh, this, this was against the advice of pretty much everyone I talked to. Um, but one friend made me sit down and watch a bunch of videos of rockets blowing up. <laughs> um, let me tell you, he wasn't far wrong. <laughs> Uh, th 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 it, was, it was tough going there in the beginning uh, because I'd never built anything physical. I mean, I'd built like little model rockets as a kid and that kind of thing, but um, I'd never had a company that built anything physical. So I had to kind of figure out how to, how to do all these things and, and bring together the right team of people. And, um, and, and so we, we, we did all that and, and then failed three times. Um, it, 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 it was tough, tough going. Um, because the thing about a rocket is that the, the, the passing grade is 100%. Uh, and uh, you, you don't get to actually test the rocket in the real environment that it's going to be in. So I think so the best analogy for, for rocket engineering is, is like if you want to create a really com complicated bit of software, um, you, c you can't run the software as an integrated whole, and you can't run it on the computer it's intended to run on. But the first time you put it all together and write it on that computer, it must run with no bugs. <laughs> that's, that's basically the essence of it. Um, so so we, we missed the mark there. Um, the, the first launch, I was picking up bits of rocket near the, near the launch site. It was a bit sad. Um, and, uh, but we, we, we learned with, with each successive flight and, uh, and were able to, with, uh, eventually with the fourth flight in 2008, uh, reach orbit. Um, and that was also with the last bit of money that we had. So um, th thank goodness uh, that that happened. Um, it, I think the saying is fourth time's the charm. <laughs> um, so that, so we, we got the Falcon 1 to orbit and then uh, began to scale that up to, to the Falcon 9, which is um, about an order of magnitude more 
a thrust. It's uh, around a million pounds of thrust. And we managed to get that to orbit and then uh, developed a Dragon spacecraft, uh, which um, recently was able to dock and return to Earth from the space station. Um, that was... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> that was a white-knuckled event. 